everyone. Uh, welcome to my uh, first ever vlog, um, which uh, also just happens to be probably the most difficult one that um, I've had to do. Not because it's my first, it's because of the news uh, today about uh, Jimmy Spine's uh, pass, passing away this morning of brain cancer. Um, it's something that's uh, felt by pretty much everyone in this country. Um, we all know about his phenomenal achievements uh, in regards to playing football for the Melbourne Football Club. Uh, he uh, holds the record for the most consecutive games of 2.44 that uh, will probably never ever get beaten, but uh, also winning the Brownlow Medal in 1991 as well. And when you consider that he was not even born here and was not born to play the game of footy, it's absolutely phenomenal. But uh, we all know that uh, all his achievements in the football, is, as phenomenal as it is, is the tip of the iceberg as far as great man is concerned. I mean, we all know of his uh, public uh, aura about uh, his... Uh, Founding, his founding of the Rich Foundation, uh, in which uh, hundreds and uh, thousands of uh, young people's lives are made uh, so much better, and probably I'd say a majority of them saved uh, because of Jim's doing. How that was possible, uh, may you ask? Well, I think it's probably because of his uh, amazing capacity uh, and his amazing ability to think uh, uh, that everyone, uh, the most beautiful side in him and everyone. This is actually very hard to, uh, to explain. But um, going through a series of meetings today, um, I actually had a lot of time to myself and collect a lot of thoughts uh, in regards to uh, Jim's passing. And probably the one that I thought about most is that no one in this world, I don't think, um, past or present, has the power, um, ever had the power, of bringing the whole, uh, our immediate world in unison together because of the unfortunate event of his passing, which is a very rare thing. Um, I was going through all the, the tributes and Facebook, all the tributes in the AFL site and also in the news pages as well and probably the one that stuck uh, for mine was a uh, man of mine, Tommy Drake, who uh, said that he was able to find the positive uh, points in any possible situation, which is the right thing as well. Um, because of the legacy that he's left, uh, not only with the Rich Foundation, with the Melbourne Football Club and also with his own family, it's um, someone is giving us that is very, very hard to sort of content, well not so much content, but think that the world that we live in now is uh, now sad because he's no longer with us. But one thing that is a certainty is that um, heaven is already a better place because of uh, his presence there and because of his courage to be able to um, do what he does uh, right to the end. We love you Jimmy. Rest in peace.